What's up buddies, Supergrimmaggy here, welcome back to another design video. In this video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to design one of these Christmas tree ornaments that you can now put on your tree. So, basically this is, it has the fuzzy skin texture, which was intentional, not just crappy print. Um, and it's just a zigzag up until the point, and then a nice little loop here. Of course, the loop could always turn out better, but this was all printed um, as tight overhangs, my printer did a pretty decent job of getting that. Of course, your printer may do better, but I think we should get to the designing of this. Okay, now it comes to designing this simple tree here. As you can see, it's not a boring um, cone shape, it's like a fun zigzag thing that goes up into a point and then we have this very simple loop up here so that you can mount it on your tree if you have that. So let's just start, you make a new part studio in my case or just a new part if you're using a different program. I'm using Onshape as you can see. Theoretically you should be able to use any program, all of the tools that I'm using here should translate to anything. But I'm going to start here, just make a simple L two lines. Okay, this is the base and axis, central axis of our tree. Now we're going to start with a construction line that is going from this point up until this point. And then we're going to put one quick design of the tree right here. And let's set a dimension of 50 degrees. That should be shallow enough, but also pretty good. Now, this part is also, of course, it's up to you. I'm going to set another degree just so we don't have crazy manipulation in the future. So 120 degrees should be fine. Now, we've just finished our first leaf design thing. We have our L. We're going to use the linear pattern tool. So for me, it's always going by default to the le uh, to the right. I don't want that. I want and I don't want it going straight up either, but that's closer to the angle that I want it. I'm going to have it go in this direction, like this. Now, using my program, you cannot snap it onto the line for some reason. So for that, we're going to just confirm it. We're going to drag this like that, or not drag it, but click on that, and then we're going to make them coincident. Now it follows the line as you can see. Let's just set a dimension distance here of, make sure that it's following it. We'll set it to one, and we'll set this to one so that right here they are exactly at the same point. And now if you can notice, you'll notice that you can very easily adjust the length here. Okay, that's a little bit too much. You can make it six, perhaps. There you go. Six, and let's, actually, let's make it seven. That's a little bit too big, but we can easily adjust this by just manually moving this thing. That is why we have not connected this at all. Now, one more thing is just adding that right there. I'm going to set a dimension here for three centimeters and a dimension here for 7.3 centimeters should be good enough. Okay, so we have half of our Christmas tree done. If you're having trouble visualizing how this will look entirely, you can always use the mirror tool to make sure that the side here is not solid because this is purely for visualization it's not going to be considered and you don't want to confuse yourself in the next step. Okay, now you're going to confirm your sketch. You have your flat Christmas tree here. And we're going to use the revolve sketch or revolve tool, I should say. You're going to click on the face. Revolve axis is the center part and it will nicely revolve around into a three dimensional object. If we're going to hang this on the tree, we need to make another sketch and we're going to make another sketch on the same plane. And let's see, we should be able to just put two circles like this and like that. 
set a distance of about 0.3 centimeters in between them. Give them, give the inner one a hard diameter of, one's a little bit too small. I think three or four should be good. Let's see, yeah, three, 2.5, 2.5 should be good. And <clears throat> now we can confirm that, use an extrude, make it symmetric, make it about 0.4. That should be well enough in. We can even try 0.5 just for added strength. And that is your Christmas tree done. So what you do now is you can export it and print it in your slicer. second one did not turn out as good as the first one primarily because towards the very end it kind of fell off the platform started squeezing around but it did survive in the end just very very rough at the top hopefully your slicer settings when you when you make your own if you do are a little bit better and they're closer to the bed so that it doesn't come off but this the main effect was still achieved with the fuzzy skin down here simulating basically all of the pines and whatever that would be on a Christmas tree. Now if you like the sleek look of no fuzzy skin, then that by all means just do not check that box. I'll be putting these on my tree. I assume you will probably do the same. Um, have a happy holidays, good Christmas. I know I haven't uploaded for several months and I don't think that will change very much. but. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, please do leave a like, subscribe if you're new, you like my content, leave a comment, or reply to you guys, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!